All right, hi. We're gonna be working on a 2017 Pacifica, Chrysler Pacifica. This is a limited. So I got a code on my OB2 scanner and it gave me NA0101. And I couldn't find out what that code was. So I ended up having to take my, my Chrysler into the dealership and have them scan it. That was $200. Uh, and it comes to be this here grill active shutter or active grill shutter. Okay. And this mounts on the front clip. So we've already got the clip out, but here is the one that is installed. It's in the open position. This one is in the closed. This is the new one, of course. Um, and they said that the, that was the, that was what was wrong. And it was going to be $1,150 to replace. So I got this part here on eBay, brand new OEM for uh, less than 200. And then they said that the wiring was fried. It doesn't look fried to me. If anything, maybe a little corrosion in this plug, I'm gonna pull it out. I bought this kit also. This was another part from OEM uh, for the, for the uh, wiring. This is the wiring kit that they've sent. It's got the plug and then got all these wires with the pins. I don't know if I'm really gonna need all this. I don't know if this is like a universal kit or something. I don't know, I'm not sure. Anyway, so I'm gonna get this uh, shutter taken out and we'll see what the uh, see what the damage looks like. All right. All right, tools for the job. I got a 10 millimeter, eight millimeter, seven millimeter, screwdriver, a little pick, this uh, wire strippers, this uh, tool for your push-pull uh, pins, uh, impact driver, three-quarter inch for your lug nuts on your wheels, and then your jack stands, heat gun, and then this kit here, I got, I think I got this off of uh, Amazon. Very helpful. Um, the parts. There's your part number there for the grill shutter and for the wiring four-way. Those are your two part numbers. This is a 2017 uh, Chrysler Pacifica Limited. So those are the tools that you'll need for this project. On the Pacifica, it comes with, it's got these 20 inch wheels. So there's not a whole lot of clearance in the wheel well and you're gonna be taking off these pieces here and then underneath and there's not a whole lot of room underneath but i put a put a jack stand underneath here i'm going to take the wheels off and give myself a little bit more room and it's a bit tricky there is no real good jack points underneath you kind of have to go off of the off of the uh, a-frame for the wheel to get that uh, jacked up um so if you can get a jack up and get the wheels off, I'll show you what the wheels look like off the access that you're gonna you're gonna want. Uh, so I'd definitely take off the the front two wheels if you can. So tires off really exposes all of these a lot easier. You're gonna have a lot more room to work. So I would definitely go to that. This is where I have my my jack stand. And the jack barely fit on the other side to lift it up. So it was a little tricky, but I think it's going to be well worth it. So the first thing uh, I did was I got the wheels off. That's going to expose the, the fender well bolts there. Uh, and then uh, to take the front clip off, the first thing that we need to do is pull out these 12 push pins here on this plastic piece. So I'm going to go ahead. I got these tools from uh, auto parts store so those should make it a little bit easier to get those off i'll get those off and i will uh get back with you all right these push pins come up pretty easy you want to get underneath the first part of it here and just raise up on it once it raises up then the whole whole pin comes up and don't do that because then you'll have to search for it down there right there all right 
All right, once you get all of the push pins pulled out, 12 of those bad boys, and then you're gonna expose these two push pins here, and then you have these 10 millimeter bolts here, and then two here. And I, uh, these bolts here on the outside, this one here, and this one here are gonna be longer than the rest of these, so make sure that you keep them separated. All right, I'm gonna get those uh, get those loose, and then we'll go on to the next step. So I got the the uh, little impact ratchet here, so it's gonna make this a lot easier. on the inner fender so you got four those are eight millimeter all right that'll get you up to this point here so we'll get these off and then I'll uh, continue on with this part here all right all right so I got these four uh, four screws out that opens this up pretty good I see there's this this here uh, this little screw guy here pull that off just twists off nice and easy Oh yeah, now it really opens up. Shows you really what you gotta get at. So you got, you got one screw up here. This is a 10 millimeter, pull that off. So after you get this, after you get this 10 millimeter bolt out, then you have to pull down on this little clip here, pull down on that. And then this, this, that'll pop out. And then you can just start pulling it out. All right. That'll release that. And I need to get up here. There you go. It just pulls out. Not not uh, not hard at all. All right. Now I'm gonna go after the bottom. All right. Underneath. Come underneath. And now you've got these screws here. These eight millimeter. There's eight of those on the bottom. Let's so just go ahead and take those those eight out. Right across this here, and then uh, we'll get ready uh, to get the other side. All right, just got the bottom uh, screws out, and now I'm ready to actually pull the front end uh, off. So we've already removed this. So this just pulls out. You pull that apart, and this starts coming apart. And pull these. Now, if you look up here, you've already taken these screws out a long time ago. I left these two in to hold the front end on until we're ready. So let's go ahead and get those out. The front end sits on these pegs right here. That kind of holds it in place. So that's a good thing to have right now. So let me get these out real quick. All right, all the screws are out of right now. So it should be coming off here. I'm gonna come back over here to this side. And there we go. And that exposes the front end. You're gonna to wanna to put towels down on the out on a pavement so your stuff doesn't go flying. Alright, this is the only uh, the wire harness that connects the whole front end. So this is the only thing you're going to have to really disconnect. You don't have to disconnect this light here. So this pulls back. And it's kind of tough. This has been the toughest thing <laughs> that I've had to remove so far. Uh, and this clip comes back. And then there. This is a handy tool. Basically, there's just a little pin in the back that uh, you have to lift off, lift off of this guy right here, and that removes your front end. Your, so your front end is now exposed, and we are at the active grill shutter, and that's what this piece is here. I'll get the front end turned around and get it propped up, and then we can start working on that. I will add, uh, when you're removing this plug here, there's a pin on this side here. You can see on this side here and to get it out you just get you a screwdriver and just kind of lightly raise up on that and then that plug comes right out 
And this is what this looks like. Yeah, it looks like a little bit of corrosion. All right, to remove the uh, this shutter, and you just got these one, two, three, four, and they are uh, seven millimeter. Let me see that, seven millimeter. And then you're gonna have to remove these little clips. Those three clips, it just gets pinched in here. That pulls back, don't break that. Oh, you can break it on the old one, don't break it on the new one. And then it just bends around this guy here. And so it just tapes to that. So you have to cut that tape, put some new tape on. And then, uh, so I'll go ahead and get this removed and we'll get back at it, thanks. All right, I got all of the, I got the four screws out. And it looks like on the bottom side here kind of like uh clips on there or just kind of it kind of you gotta lift up on the top side and then pull down real easy and then you're out so then just go ahead and pull these clips up and that'll release the harness from your old active shutter and then we'll get the new one in place all right all right so install the new grill shutter it's just four bolts it's so easy it just slips right on there don't over tighten this piece here was a clip that came off the other one that's for routing your your harness i have to do a little harness work i'm going to change out this plug and that's what this kit is here and it gives you the all the wires that you need with the pin already on it the pin will go up into the plug i'll get this all out and straightened up and then uh once I get her uh, ready to put together, then we'll, we'll add that to the video. All right. All right. So uh, they told us at, we needed to replace the harness. And looking at this harness, it does, it looks pretty corroded. So, um, and here's the new plug here. And that shows you right here, this is open, right? So this is where you're going to have access to your pins, put your new ones in. I'll show that in a little bit. But right now, so you just get this little pin and that opens this up. And you can see that that is just corroded up bad. And uh, so I won't need to pull these pins out because we're not gonna be reusing this plug, but this shows you how that, how that, uh, how this, this new one fits in there, right? It goes in like this and it hangs up on this bar, right? So this should just go in like so up inside, but you want to get them in the same order, of course, as, as on the old one. All right. So I went ahead and I took the, the blue wire here, just like this blue wire on the old plug and it slides up right into place and it clipped, it clipped in nice and easy. So we'll do that with the rest of the, the other two wires, the, the other, the blue, the blue and the yellow and then the purple and black and then we'll get those installed into this clip and then we'll just basically cut this uh old plug off and the kit does come with some some shrink wraps and i have a kit that i have i bought off of uh, amazon uh it's a pretty cool little kit to uh to solder your wires together so uh, all right let me get that uh plug fixed up and we'll get it uh, mounted up. All right, so I have the new clips here and you can see the shape of that clip. All right, and that's gonna fit in there just like this, okay? And it's really easy, it just slides in, make sure you have it oriented correctly. Slides in, got a little boot, you can feel it clip and it, feel, it clips in and then it's it's not coming out. And then it's got that little boot that goes in there and that seals it. So, and uh, I just wanted to show you that little bit. We got one more wire and then we'll go ahead and splice it into this, this old harness here. So let me go ahead and grab this one real quick. That slides in like this. And you can, you can hear it clip in. And then once you clip it in and that pops, now you're good. Now this, this guy is just like this guy. All right, all I gotta do now is just cut this off here, cut this off and then splice them together. Super easy and you can see that it definitely needed to be done. So don't, uh, don't pass this step. 
All right, so like I said, I got these bad boys here off of Amazon. It's got a piece of solder inside there, and this is all shrink fit. So I just slid one end in, get it past the, the solder, and then bring the other side in so they overlap. And then uh, once you get them overlap, then I just uh, take my, uh, my wire strippers here, and I just crimp the solder. Kind of holds everything in place. And then just start heating it up with your heat gun. Get your little heat gun. And then just uh, move your heat gun around and you'll see the solder. It starts to starts to melt. And then it solders the two wires together. Your shrink fit it, uh, together. And then I'm gonna take this uh, black plastic. This was supplied with the harness and then shrink that into place. Let me shrink that and I'll show you what that looks like. All right. This is the final, so got that shrunk into place. This will plug out of the way. And uh, that uh, turned out good. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tape it afterwards as well. And I have this, uh, this new uh, wire protector. I'll put that in place just on this last uh, six inches. So, and then that all gets wrapped around tape. So you're gonna be good and protected from the weather. All right. I'll get the rest of this put together and then we will uh, go ahead and get the harness mounted back into the tracks here and get her plugged in and get ready to put the front end back on. Easy peasy. All right, we got the new harness wire wired up, the new plug. Uh, I would like to add, so see how I cut those? Uh, I staggered them. If you stagger them like that, it makes it easier when you put your, your uh, protector on it. If they're all in, in a line with each other, then you got this big bulky bulge and it's hard to keep them covered up. So it makes it easier to slip uh, slip your protector over, over top of your wires. Uh, they'll come together. So uh, that's uh, just a little, little trick. All right, so I'm gonna get this uh, cut off. I'm gonna put the new the new piece on this new piece is a little bit bigger which that'll help me with the with these so all right we'll get that put together and get her plugged in all right all right we got the harness back together um uh, so i just used this uh got this at an auto parts store it's just uh some wire cover you can cut it to cut it to length i just cut a little little about five inch piece here covered it up but before i covered it up i go i, I went ahead and uh, took electrical tape and i taped up the wires then put this the this tube over the wires and then tape the tube the more protection you can give i think is the better so these uh pushed back in these pieces here and then we just taped this back to this clamp and of course this little this little it's a push pin but it's got this little elbow on it so that transferred from the old one to the new one. Uh, this uh, plug just pushes in. You push it in and then this white piece locks it in. So if you're pulling the plug, of course you have to pull this white piece back and then you'll have to get off the little pin in there to pull that plug back up. But we're all installed. All right, it's time to put the front end back on. All right. All right, so we're going to put the front end back on. We're ready. Got it uh, shutter back installed. So we're just going to pick this up. Kind of slide it into place. And these pins right here on top is going to help us line everything up. All right, that helps. A lot so everything's kind of you just have to work it around a little bit um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get a couple bolts in the top here hold it in place and then I'll start putting in the sides again so I will go ahead and uh, get those in place and then get back with you so I just got these four bolts put those in and then these two longer ones on the outside remember those longer ones you can identify that of course they're longer and then it's got the, the wider washer on it then you have the two push pins out here on the sides. Push pins, make sure it's opened up like that. Just slides in nice and easy. And then push pin, okay? Those are easy. 
but uh, I'm not going to make sure that it's pulled out. I'm not going to I'm not going to tighten those screws down until I get the rest of the uh, rest of the front end all lined up. Okay, so this will just get pulled back in. We'll come back around. This gets lined up here. Yeah. So I'm probably going to have to put the camera down to do that. But before you plug in this side over here, don't forget you have your wire harness. This guy right here. Go ahead. Put that together and then and then push that red pin in that locks it in. And then you're good to go on your wiring. Make sure that everything's plugged back in. Then you just put in your sides, put in the bottom, and then uh, push the sides in. All right. That's pretty much in reverse of uh, disassembly. Easy. Easy together. All right. Thanks. All right. <laughs> Got these uh, eight bolts put back in all the way across. Now, when you put the front end back on the vehicle, you get the top end. The first thing you want to do before you pop the sides in, come down to the bottom and make sure that this this black piece here is tucked underneath. Okay. Uh, really super easy. There's eight bolts on the bottom, four bolts here that one bolt inside there then there's one two five six bolts here two push pins here and then the four bolts that held the the shutter on and then the wire harness and then this other p little panel with the the 12 i think it was 12 push pins super easy to do and save myself over seven hundred dollars on labor uh so well worth it so um i went with ebay route i got oem parts the grill the 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 grill active shutter the the dealership they wanted 243 i got it for 194 on ebay and it's oem the four-way wiring harness which that's this guy right here. Uh, so you basically put the wiring harness together. It wasn't hard, really. Um, so they wanted 117. I got it for 84.65. So my parts cost me 279.11. Um, I did have to pay like 207 dollars. That was with the tax for the diagnostic from the dealership. Uh, so my total cost was 486.11. Their estimate to do the work was 1154.87. So I'll call this a win. Uh, it took me four hours roughly, uh, and that was trying to uh, I was trying to to uh, film it and show you guys everything. Um, if I were to jump back at it and do it again, I would say I could probably do the whole thing in probably two hours. It wasn't that hard.